Welcome back to another episode of Loyal TV. If you've driven by the Oklahoma State Capitol, you've probably seen the 22-foot bronze statue atop the Capitol Dome. The Guardian, as it's called, represents the 39 tribes of Oklahoma. And like the statue, its sculptor was a proud guardian of Oklahoma. Artist, politician, tribal leader, and minister, Enoch Kelly Haney lived a life of service to his tribe as principal chief of the Seminole Nation, to his state as the first Native American to serve in the Oklahoma legislature, and to all who knew him. My father was born on November 12, 1940 in Seminole, Oklahoma. He grew up in Little Oklahoma, which is a tiny community outside of Seminole. And he is Seminole and Creek, enrolled Seminole Nation of Oklahoma. He left for Baycomb College once he graduated high school. He studied art there under Dick West, and he graduated from Oklahoma City University. There was never a time in his life that he didn't have a love for art. As a very small child, he was drawing with crayons and he was drawing very realistic features. He always said that it was his God-given gift. He painted what he knew. Traditionally, a lot of our stories were told orally from generation to generation. Well, when you put those traditions, those legends, those beliefs, and you put it, you know, into art form, people can understand it. It's keeping our traditions alive. There was a lot of excitement. When The Guardian was taken to the Capitol, it was very well received for Indian people in particular. It was an honor. It was a very big honor for us to put that on top of that and to have such a representation of our people up there. But being an internationally renowned artist was just one of Enoch Kelly Haney's many accomplishments. In 1980, he became the first Native American elected to the Oklahoma State Legislature where he served in the House and Senate until 2002. When my dad ran for the legislature, there were a lot of issues and, you know, obviously there still are for Native communities. He wanted to go in to help Indian people. It's good to help our people, but when you go in and you say you're gonna help everybody, go in and help everybody. And so that's what he went into it with, into the legislature, was to be there for and, and do good for everybody. Then in 2005, he followed in his family's footsteps when he was elected principal chief of the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma. The interesting thing about that is his great-grandfather was the principal chief of the Seminole Nation, and then later, actually, his uncle was also the principal chief of the Seminole Nation. For him, I know there was pride in it, but it was more responsibility in who he is and who he was raised to be. From politician, master artist and minister, to tribal leader, television host, and Oklahoma National Guardsman, Enoch Kelly Haney dedicated his life to the people of Oklahoma. Although he was from humble beginnings, his determination to make a difference in the lives of others steadfastly guided each endeavor. My father made a big impact on everybody he met, on any type of level he met them, personal, political, art, as part of the ministry. He came from a very poor background and to come from that background and to be native on top of it and to overcome all of those difficulties, I believe is one of the things I'm most proud of him for. On April 23rd, 2022, Enoch Kelly Haney passed away. leaving a far-reaching legacy across the state. And the beautiful works of art he created will honor his memory for years to come. In an archived audio interview, he shared a song from his childhood that says he served as a guidepost throughout his life. Thanks for joining us. Come back again for the best Oklahoma stories you've never heard right here on Loyal TV.